That man, you can press buttons fast. Right? Definitely we, ain't looking like a straw man. Like, and my man Twinkle Toe is about to find that Twinkle Toe. Twinkle Toe. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. You ever read a name before actually reading it, and then you're like, what? Did I just say Dr. PP? -Pee? Like, oh. Like, come on, man. If your dad was in the van, you, you're not going to enter as Twinkle Toes. He's playing Zelda, too. He does something. Oh, like. Lord. Twinkle Foot, then, man. Her twinkle her, her, twinkle no, Heel. No. Like, something Yeah, there more. you go, man. I'm putting them stilettos in you. Uh, we, yeah. Feel we, it. Not the toes. Like, I don't know. Toes are probably the most feminine part of the body that is not... You know, I'll tell you what. Sexual I do. I do enjoy a good manicure. But we ain't gonna get into that. that. We gonna anyway, get into back match to the right match. Now. Here we go. <laughs> we got my man TK busting out the Pikachu though. Last time I saw him, he's playing Lucas. I, I didn't know about this switch here. Really? Oh yeah. He he plays pretty much. I think nothing but Pikachu. So okay. that might be some old stuff. But yeah, he plays Pikachu. He uh, cites a lot of frustration. I know he plays Pikachu and Squirtle, um, but he's been trying to play a lot more Pikachu as of late. So we're gonna be able to see how he does here. Yo, Pikachu is on the rise, man. You saw MLG that boy Axe. Oh right. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Don't matter if it's a different game, man. It's Pikachu goes it, in. It's really interesting. Somebody made the point that probably across all the Smash games, Pikachu is the most successful, him or Fox, just because Pikachu has such a an adaptable moveset. He's got a strong up B that's really hard to uh, edge guard against. And in most games, he has a really strong kill option, like that up smash in this oh, for one. sure. Ooh, or that tail spike. Trying to get him. Oh, the up smash going to close it out. Yeah, unfortunately, Twinkle Toes uh, did not switch spot the ledge there, so he's going to get hit by that up smash. And that's one thing you really got to do as Zelda, man. You, you don't want to be taking that unnecessary damage. That's a common uh, weakness across Zelda and Sheik, though. If you do not sweet spot that ledge, Ooh. or if you don't have a good grasp of her up B like yeah. that, you could die very early. Yeah, bro. You can't play Zelda if you can't aim. All right, that, that's, <laughs> that should be training one-on-one -on -one right there. Aim your recovery. I mean, how are you going to practice that? Like, just jump down. Break the targets? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, stand like a mile away from one. All right, well, you hit that forward air, back air, or whatever. They both do the same thing. So oh, It's a struggle right now in this uh, round one match here. But my man TK going off right now. Currently two stocks up, almost two and a half, yeah. The problem with Zelda, though, is the same problem that she had, that she has in most games, is that it's very difficult for her to actually be able to kill. I think she has that same problem in this game. She just hit that F air, but it's actually really hard to hit. It is not easy to land. It's a move that definitely requires a little bit of a little bit of planning out. Now, a lot of players like to just throw it out and just, you know, hope it'll get there. Sometimes it does. That is the case. But, I mean, the most successful Zeldas I see, they always got a plan behind it. Definitely, yeah. What I do like from Twinkletoes is this use of, uh, I think it's Naryu's Love, that uh, neutral B. Very strong move for Zelda. Um, unfortunately, he gets caught out of a roll there with the up smash. Pikachu's up smash is just so strong. I'm telling you. Man, TKO, though. Top five in it? Oh. Twinkletoes almost going off the stage. He actually went off for that down air. I think he's, uh, once you're down like this, you've got to go for stuff like that. But he was able to recover, so very good. He hits that F air, and you see how strong that is. Twinkletoes isn't quite out of it yet. I mean, he is, but. Well, <laughs> it's round one, man. Like, come on. Let's... I'm sorry. I mean, he killed a hype. <laughs> My oh, man, hey, you still got a little gas in that tank, though. Uh, all right, well, then let's let's frame this in a positive light. Twinkletoes probably thinking about what would be the best choice for a counter pick for game two. Counter picks could just dictate a lot, man. Losing yeah. game one doesn't mean everything. Absolutely. Okay, he's, he's on the verge of taking this stock right here, though. Trying yeah. to run him down. Doesn't quite get there. TKL forcing his way in there. I like it. Yeah, if he can hit that F tilt, I think, or any uh, F air back air, I think he should be able to take that stock. He's already at 132, so he'll die to pretty much any strong hit. Oh, my God. Not expect that. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh! No, what? <laughs> yeah. That was cute. Yeah, even, the down see, smash. Even, even TKO respected that one. That was that was on point. Zelda actually has one of the fastest down smashes in the game, if not the fastest. So it's a very strong tool. It's not really a kill move, but it's so fast and it sweeps so <laughs> strong. TKO going for these extra hard reads right here. Yeah, TK's definitely having a lot of fun. Ooh, Twinkle double, Toes. Double Thunder gets it done. Twinkle Toes a little bit more serious, but we're going to have to see what kind of counter pick he's going to pick for the second game. What do you What do you like? What do you think he's going to go for? Got it. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe something big. That there would be my guess. A little bit of space, man. Something like little, uh, little Final Destination, something well, like okay. PS2. Um, Distant Planet would be another good one. Zelda's really good. She thrives in that environment where she could set up those traps of side Bs and uh, detonate them and set up these zones for herself. So I definitely think something bigger would be better. It's really hard for Zelda when you get in um, and and start assaulting her. She has tools to keep you out. Like, she's got that neutral bay. She's got her nair. But if you get in and you stay in, it's really hard. So 
You play a little Zelda? No. No? I hate Zelda. Oh, okay. I hate every Zelda. Well, I hate know, know thy enemy. Yo, Bull. I, I lost a, a Zime at my first like okay, tournament yeah, here, yeah. and it was a nightmare. Yeah, man. That, and I had no idea what he was doing. That so I was like, around. that was a mess. I feel that. Oh, he ran it right back to the same stage. Okay. Okay. Not mad at that. I wonder if it's a little bit of inexperience in that regard because um, I had the same thing happen to me. We've got a lot of new players showing up at Xanadu, especially with the uh, all the work that we've been doing to try to make it bigger. So we've got a lot of people that don't really understand the counterpicking, stage striking system. So they're just trying to get their experience in. And um, But the good thing about entering the events, they'll get it eventually. Absolutely. It will yeah. come to you. Don't quit. Oh, that up smash. Why is, why is Pikachu so strong? I, I don't know. The up smash is really frustrating. Like, he just hits you with that tail, man. He's not even using iron tail. No. That's, that's regular tail, dog. Uh, th uh, that's what I'm saying. And the weird thing is, like, Fox and Falco and them, they have, like, a lore reason, right? They've got those, like, prosthetic legs. Pikachu is just, like, a mouse. Like, I don't... <laughs> it's spiked. Like, the tail's spiked. Yeah, I don't you know. know. How, you know how people miss leg day? He doesn't miss tail day, okay? That's, that's the only reason I can pick up. Uh, I don't know, but... I know it's very strong. I mean, right there, uh, Twinkletoes actually died, I think, at 92 after the hit. So if, he, if uh, TK can actually hit an up smash here, he might be able to kill again. That would be some pretty awful DI on my man Twinkletoes part. <laughs> it might be. So let us hope. Ooh, actually, Uppies into him. Very strong. That move is a pretty big hit hitbox, so a very Ooh, smart option. Nice. Sends Ooh. Right back at him. Went for the kick. Did not connect. It's still a little bit of life right here. He's only down, I mean, he's only realistically, he's only down a stop. Yeah. If he can close this one out and get a nice solid combo going, some good follow-ups, no reason he can't take this. Good stuff. It'd be very smart if he was able to, because he knows that Pikachu's best kill option, probably his only real kill option, is that up smash. So if he's able to bait it, shield it, and then punish, that is how you play Smash Brothers, and that would be amazing Ooh. for him. But uh, unfortunately, he's going to take that up the smash Excellent there. reaction right there. Gets that up smash in there. Going to pull ahead two stocks right here. Yeah. So 157%. Uh, gonna jump right into that F smash though. Twinkletoes covering that option. You know, TKO is not just a, a player and a commentator. He's also a humanitarian. Giving away that stock right there. Definitely a good Very look. smart. My that man, work. keep Twinkletoes coming back. Make him feel good. I like Charity it. Charity stock. Very good. We'll see him in next week, Xanadu. And if we don't, then uh, I don't know. Somebody got sent the losers early. Junebug, <laughs> Junebug was his second round. I don't How know. do this, June? So right now, pretty even uh, in terms of stock or uh, percent but you know tk obviously has that one stock lead on him and he's just racking up the damage with those short hop approach nares you don't really need to do much else when you're in the lead like that make him play your game yep what's interesting is that twinkle toes isn't really using um a lot of zelda's move set designed to hit people from afar he's going in he's trying to fight with his face in there and uh, it's just not really working out for him. Zelda's a character that's very good at sitting back Ooh. and making the enemy approach and, and then keeping them out. And taking up smash. Very up good smash. at that, apparently. I don't know, man. I feel like this Zelda's got to be on day two. Might be. Like, like, <laughs> this day two Zelda. But that's okay, man. That's okay because we got a week before the next Xanadu event. Guaranteed that's true. Guaranteed place top ten. That, I'm, that's true. We got a whole lot of time. Oh. Every, single, every single week we're coming back. Yeah, so man. you see players. Rise from, you know, start from the bottom and then get into the oh, top absolutely. eight. You see it happen all the time. I mean, Ooh, squeak. nice. Good string right there. I like it a lot. Very good. I mean, TK jumped right into that side B set up perfectly for the F air. Very strong. There it is. Ooh. So we got a little bit of percent back and forth here. TK just opting to uh, wait out that nair and sit back. Oh. He's going to hit that Thunderbolt. Making it back, though. Ooh. They shouldn't give up. As long as he's got a stock, he's got a chance. Definitely. That's all that matters. I can say, though, one up smash is going to be the end of him. That could have been it right there. It looks like he's going to try to get the read on him. Not quite. Definitely went hard for that follow-up. Yeah. Nice. I, I love every time he reverses that on him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So disrespectful. It's very, he's very good at that. Every time he sees that joint coming, he's able to reverse it. He's got to hit him with the back air. Not quite, though. Not quite enough. He's going to come back. Oh, just or narrowly is misses he? grabbing the ledge. Or is he? He narrowly missed that. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Definitely, I feel like he got more of a handle on what he was doing in the second game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's why he maybe chose PS2 is because he knew that if he was going to lose, it wasn't because of the stage. He's still learning the game, probably. And coming out to Xanadu is the best thing you can do to get better, man. That's Seriously. Right. All of you guys, come out to Xanadu. Book your tickets tonight. Here. Tonight. Get on the flight. Show up here. And you can't have any excuse. No. Like, we had somebody from Australia here. Do you know how?